Time to check in with Katie once again, and she's going to take us down to Salem. Yes, I just wanted to show you that it's not just the metro area that's warm and sunny. It's the same in the valley. Just a little cooler in Salem and at 73, but not much of a change. And really, we're going into the last part of the month, the last three days, warm and dry and quite a bit of sunshine. Here's where your highs have landed so far for today. Almost made it to 80 out east through the Dalles and to the Dalles and then in the mid 70s in the Portland Metro you see some upper 60s along the coast. 80 all the way to the south in Roseburg. We've just barely passed average and so we're ending the month. We get it'll be 72 which is just the last day but we are sitting right about average for our highs today. Then when you head over to the east you'll notice things were a bit warmer warmer in some areas, but pretty much in those mid to low to mid 80s on the other side of the mountain. The last couple of weeks, we've seen some ups and downs, right? We were pretty normal for a bit. Then we dropped into the 60s on the 17th. Watch those temperatures rise all the way up till we hit that 94 on Tuesday. Then that quick drop back into the low 70s. We're going to hang out at or near average for the next couple of days with just one day we're expecting to be a little on the more warm side. Here are your current temperatures going into the evening and then here's what you're expecting overnight tonight. Right around those low 50s that's actually average for us so it's going to be a bit cooler on the west side of the Cascades and clear and then mostly clear with some temperatures in those mid upper 40s to low 50s to the east. And then tomorrow morning it's going to be a sunny and mild day for you. Maybe a couple clouds here or there. More clouds along the coast through the day and then by the time we get to midday we'll see things clouding up for us. As you can see here now warm afternoon back to about the same temperature that we're expecting today but just a few extra clouds and then cooler as we go into the evening. The upper level pattern that we're seeing is this ridge that we had that warmed us up. Just kind of staying close to us. This little dip we have right here on Sunday, this is our coolest day, but we're not expecting much because you can see we're still within the warmer atmosphere portion of our map. Then that ridge builds starting Monday very quickly into Tuesday and then decides, you know what, I don't think I want to do this. And we get back to what's called some zonal flow there, which is pretty calm, mild, no troughs or ridges to really throw a wrench in anything. Your day tomorrow looks mostly sunny and dry on our side of the Cascades and then your seven day forecast shows still a chance for showers Tuesday, Wednesday, but that is the start of October. Pete. Okay. Katie, thank you.